I think the story about Apple is that we think average selling prices for the phone will be richer both this quarter and for fiscal 19. So we ultimately believe that that will translate into higher revenues and higher earnings uh, both this quarter and for fiscal 19. You know, the key metric, um, as Josh pointed out, is really going to be what's the revenue guidance because which Apple will provide for the December quarter. That's the first quarter where all the new phones are available. It really uh, typically dictates the strength of a cycle. And so if December is good, you typically see a pretty predictable fall off from there. So that's really the number investors are going to be focused on. The consensus number is 93 billion mm -hmm. for, uh, for December quarter revenue guidance. And that's really the bogey and the most important metric. You know, long term, Apple bulls, Tony, want to look to the services numbers, you know, sort of the handoff for growth when it comes to hardware to services. What are we looking for? Because a competitor on the street, um, Bank of America, said that they saw app downloads uh, in revenue down uh, quarter on quarter. So it was up to 11 percent year on year growth in the month of October versus, what, 20 percent in September. And that could then impact services as sort of the flywheel. Are you seeing any evidence that there's a slowdown in, in app downloads and revenues? Well, you did have Tencent report that their gaming revenues were off pretty substantially uh, last quarter. And so I think that's a real question going forward. Broader China is, but certainly, you know, we estimate that China gaming could be, you know, between 5 and 10 and probably closer to 10 percent of all App Store revenues. And so when you have Tencent come out and say that their growth rate declined, uh, substantially from the prior quarter, uh, that's clearly an issue we're going to be looking at. The bogey for tonight in terms of Q4 services growth is about 17 or 18 percent. They have a tough compare because they had a big one-time gain last year. When you adjust for that one-time gain, it's about a 27 percent growth rate. And I think that's really 17 as reported, 27x the gain is really the number people are going to be looking for.